before we understand what is a synchronous queue we need to understand what is a blocking queue that is because synchronous queue is very much related to the blocking queue right so let's recap what is a blocking queue blocking queue is a queue right it's an array of elements you can suppose where a, you need a producer thread to keep on adding the elements to the queue and there can be a consumer thread which can take the elements from the queue now for the sake of simplicity i have just shown one producer thread and one consumer thread but blocking queue is a thread safe data structure which can have multiple producer threads and a multiple consumer threads all working at the same time when the blocking queue is empty and a consumer try consumer thread tries to take an element from the queue since there is no element in the queue the consumer thread will go into a block state so it will wait until there is an element in the blocking queue to be taken as soon as there is an item or an element within the blocking queue uh, the consumer thread gets unblocked and then it will get the item and it will proceed further similarly during the put operation if the blocking queue is full that is all the slots of the blocking queue have an item or an element within it and the producer thread is trying to put an extra item since there is no space within the blocking queue the producer thread will get blocked as soon as a consumer thread gets some item and the slot becomes empty the producer thread which was blocked will become unblocked and its put operation will become successful and there will be an item added and the producer thread can keep on moving but why have we been discussing about blocking queue that is because synchronous queue is a blocking queue of size 1 conceptually they are the same thing they behave in the same way and we'll take a look at how that is the case so this is the same behavior same diagram we had earlier for the blocking queue but instead of having multiple slots we have a single slot like a single item slot we have the same thing a producer thread which can put the item a consumer thread which can take the item same as the last time in the blocking queue when a consumer thread type tries to take the element if there is no element the consumer thread will get blocked as soon as a producer thread adds the item to the consumer thread the consumer thread will get the item and will proceed further where synchronous queue is slightly different than the blocking queue is in this put operation when the producer thread tries to put an element into the synchronous queue even though synchronous queue is empty there is no element within it the producer thread gets blocked that is because a producer thread will wait for the consumer thread to come and get the element as soon as there is a consumer thread which calls a take operation the producer thread which was blocked will get unblocked it will put the element into the synchronous queue and the consumer thread will go further in fact synchronous queue has no size at all so i was lying to you a little bit synchronous queue is not even of a size 1 because it doesn't need to hold the element Be since producer requires the consumer thread to be available at that particular point in time there can be a direct handoff the producer can directly give the element to the consumer without storing it into the synchronous queue so as soon as there is a producer thread which says put there has and if there is a consumer thread which is available to do a take operation then there is no need to store that element then the producer thread can directly hand it over to the consumer thread and that is called a direct handoff and that is why since synchronous queue does not hold elements there is not even a size of 1 there is no peak method because what would you peak the element there is no element to peak uh, there is no element so you cannot iterate over it and this data structure is perfect for any designs that require a direct handoffs between two threads so if a thread is at a certain point and you want other thread to be at a certain point and only then those both threads need to move forward then this is a perfect solution to use so that's it that's a simple synchronous queue
thanks a lot for listening if you have any questions let me know in the comments below see you in the next one thank you